Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to a brand new monthly favourites, that's right, today I'm going to be doing my March favourites and telling you about all the things that I've been enjoying and loving that I just want to tell you guys about. You guys can join in by leaving a comment down below letting me know what you have been enjoying throughout the month of March, they end up being recommendations to me which is really really cool. I've actually got some very very awesome magical favourites to show you this month which I'm very very excited about so if you're brand new to my channel hello welcome don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's get on with it because i've got quite a lot to get through and yeah <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna kick this month's favorites off with my magical things. I'm very excited. I have really cool things to show you in this category this month. And the first ones that I'm gonna show you is actually a set of two. So the first one is here. You may have seen this on my Instagram stories. These are wooden storage boxes. And on the edge of this one, it says Weasleys, Wizards, Wheezies. Though it actually says Weezers. They made a spelling error, it's really bugging me, but I'm trying not to let it bother me. But yeah, it says Joke Shop, 93 Diagon Alley, Fred and George. It has bombastic bombs, extendable ears, you know poo, love potions, fainting fancies, and instant darkness powder. Oh, they're just so cool. I could not leave the store without these. So you're probably wondering where I got these from. My boyfriend, Pete, took me to Lincoln. I've never been before, but we it's really beautiful. If you've never been to Lincoln, definitely visit. There's even a street that looks kind of like a Diagon Alley. And at the bottom of it, there was this charity shop, which I believe was called St. Barnabas. And it wasn't a normal charity shop. Half of it was dedicated to Harry Potter things, which were brand new. And I went in there, I was like, wow, Harry Potter music, a whole Harry Potter section attached to the rest of the charity shop. It was really, really bizarre. And I saw a whole pile of these boxes. This is the second one. This one says the Leaky Cauldron, finest butter beer. And then on the edge of this one, it says entrance to Diagon Alley. And oh my gosh, I couldn't leave without them. They were a little bit pricey, I'm not going to lie. They were 35 pounds each, but they're real wood. They're really nice quality and I really, really wanted them. I wanted these for maybe, well, obviously I wanted them for photographs, like Instagrams, but I also thought they would be really, really useful for when me and Pete have our own home. It could be some extra storage, like maybe even some bathroom storage, who knows? But I just fell in love with them and I'd never seen anything like these. So I was just like, yes, okay, I will have two. And I was very impulsive, but I'm really glad that I was because I love them so much. Now my next magical favourites was sent to me in the post by one of my Instagram friends, Amelia. She has her own Etsy store. I'm gonna leave the links down below so that you can get some of these of your own if you really like them. I absolutely adore them, they're so beautiful. So she sent me some pin sets. She's designed these and made them all herself. It's Amos plush and pins on Etsy, but again, I will leave all her information down below. So here we have got a little mandrake with a little pot and a little shovel. And here we've got a Bertie box bean inspired pin which says alas earwax which if you know Harry Potter is a quote by Dumbledore in the Philosopher's Stone towards the end where Harry's in hospital and then we've got the Quidditch set and it also has the bat that goes with it oh my gosh this is like a double pin it has a chain that links them they're just stunning and oh my gosh I freaked out when they came in the post it was so cute they were all packaged in like individual packets with Hogwarts stickers on it, it was just beautiful so the second set here i got a happy birthday harry cake which is obviously the cake that hagrid gave to harry on his 11th birthday and here we have the grim in a teacup and it says my dear you have the grim and here we have an extendable ear which is another double pin which is attached by a little chain but how awesome are these pin sets. I just think they're so good. They're 100% my new favorite pins in my collection. And she also does patches. So this is a large patch of the Happy Birthday Harry cake. And oh my God, they're so cute. I just love them. I love all the detail 
about everything. So yeah, if you're after some cute pins, definitely go and check Amelia's store out. They're so good. They're really beautiful. I can't, I don't know if it's gonna like show across on the video, but in person, they're so stunning. My next and final magical favorite for the month of March, I actually got this weekend. I went to MCM Comic Con and they had this stall of loads of TV and movie celebrities if you like they're all of their photographs and they're all signed some of them were really expensive i think there was a daniel radcliffe one going for like 100 pounds i was like no i'm not going to spend that much but i got gary oldman i'm going to take him out of the packet so it's not reflecting but this is a signed gary oldman print his signature is there if you can't see it and i love sirius black he's one of my favorite characters from the harry potter films and the books obviously but oh i just loved it i really really wanted it because i don't really have much signed merch or memorabilia i have some of the fantastic beasts books i have the case of beasts and the screenplay that are both signed by the graphic designers mina lee and I met them in person and they were so lovely. So this is my next signed piece and it was only £30 which isn't too bad but oh yes he's touched it and that just makes me happy. It just does so that is definitely a favourite of this month. <laughs> Next up are my beauty and bath favourites. There's a few little random things in this month and the first ones I have to talk about are in a Lush bag. That's right, I had to get these. And oh god, you can only buy these at Easter time which makes me really sad because they are my all-time favourite bubble bar. If you don't know what a bubble bar is, you simply run it under running water and it creates glorious bubbles and lovely fragrance and the water's really soft and like oily but not in... that makes it sounds really gross it's not it's just really soft it feels glorious on your skin so oh my god these are a bunch of carrots they come in a pack of three I say a pack they come in three you get an orange one a pink one and a purple one they all smell the same but they turn your bath waters different colors and oh I need to stock up on these because I know they're gonna stop selling them soon I think they're about six pounds approximately for three of these carrots and they're reusable. They last for many, many baths. I think I've had about five baths already with my first orange one and it's still got a lot to go. So next time you're in Lush, go give them a little sniff because I definitely think you're gonna fall in love with these. I buy them every single year that they are released and it's my favorite beauty bath product this month by far. Next up is a product that I have been meaning to get for a while. When I've been doing my makeup, I use a lot of eyeshadow, but it doesn't tend to stick very well. And I've noticed a lot of people have been using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. They're not that cheap. They're about £17.50, I think. It comes in a little pot like this. Mine's in shade Painterly, and it looks like that. And I've been using this as an eyeshadow base to go under my eyeshadow to make sure that it sticks and it lasts all day, because sometimes it's really hard to blend your eyeshadows, and I cannot tell you how much of a difference using this has made to my makeup routine. It's made eye makeup a lot more flawless and yeah so I definitely recommend this and to go with that I also bought and treated myself to a MAC brush. This is one of their blending brushes, uh, I'm not sure which one it is, it says 217S on the side but yeah it's one of their blending brushes and again I cannot tell you how much a good quality and high quality brush makes to your makeup because I have been using a lot of cheap brushes, some of which are from eBay, some of which I have like Real Techniques brushes. I have a bit of a mixture, but to have a blending brush, I have a Sigma one, but it's just not as good as this. And again, it's made a massive, massive difference. I remember back in the day, I look back at some of my really, really old YouTube videos and look at my makeup and I'm just like, girl, you did not know how to blend at all back then. So yeah, this has made a massive difference. Uh, yeah, so that is my last beauty favorite. Moving on to my miscellaneous favorites and I am so excited to show you guys these. Ah, uh, look, I haven't bought any art products for so long. If you don't know me very well, I did art college. I went to university to do art as well. My whole life was art at one point. So to buy new art products, 
Mmm, fills me with so much joy. So what are these? These are Pro Markers by Windsor & Newton and I have used a lot of their paints in the past. In fact, my first ever watercolour palette was by Windsor & Newton. But yeah, a lot of you guys on Twitter recommended these to me because I'm just so out of the loop when it comes to new art products because I just haven't done them for so long. So it comes in this case and let me tell you, you get 24 in here. This costs £30 blows my mind. I got this from the range but you can get them online and at Hobbycraft and all sorts of places. So it comes in a really nice professional pouch like this. This is so soft. I could stroke it all day. So it comes in a pouch. It unzips and oh, isn't that just heavenly? I don't know if it's just me that freaks out at things like this but oh my god. They are glorious. So you can get so many more colours than this but I decided to start off with this set and oh it just makes me so so happy these are amazing i've been using them to do designing on secret things and they're so so good and i just love them even the pack is really cool you can undo this and then bend it so when it's on your table it will stand up and the back one does the same thing so if you are into art and designing or just coloring and oh, you really want some nice markers? I so recommend these. These are amazing. I think it might be the beginning of a brand new addiction because now I want every single shade that they do, but I'm gonna just not do that just yet because it's gonna start getting expensive. But yeah, these are so cool. I love them. I swatched each and every one of them. They, th what's really cool about them is it's not just a bog standard marker. On one end, you have like a chiseled, thick highlighter type end and then on the other end you have a detail fine point all of them are jewel ended they are just so good they're probably the best markers that I have personally ever owned but that's not hard because I haven't owned that many markers but yeah these are so nice I'm going to stop going on about them but you can tell how much I love them I could talk about them for a long time but I've been really really enjoying these look at all the shades look at all the shades but oh god i definitely need some more neutral shades but yeah so those are one of my biggest favorites of march i've it just fills my heart with a lot of joy that's the only way i can explain it my next favorite i actually only have the packaging for because it's out over there I can't be bothered to get it. It's a reed diffuser. It looks identical to the one over here on my tray. I got this from Tesco and it's Fox and Ivy, which I believe is a brand that is only sold in Tesco. And it's their rhubarb and peony scented reed diffuser. It says a bright uplifting blend of vibrant rhubarb, red berries and sweet peony. Now, two of my favorite things are peonies and rhubarb. And this just smells like a rhubarb crumble, but with high sort of floral sense to it. It's the best reed diffuser scent that I have ever, ever discovered. And again, I want to stock up on these. It's absolutely beautiful. I know I've got like two reed diffusers on the go, so my room probably smells a little bit crazy right now, but definitely go check these out. I've been really, really enjoying this. And also about these Tesco um, Fox and Ivy reed diffusers, they last so long. I normally buy mine from Primark because you shouldn't spend too much on reed diffusers. I think this was about seven pounds, but these have been lasting so, so much longer, like weeks on end. So definitely recommend those. I've really been enjoying that throughout March. And that leaves us to my TV and film favorites. And I have a little list on my phone here. So the first show that I've really been enjoying this month, which came back with a season two, is Jessica Jones. It's a Marvel series. It's on Netflix. It's available to stream all of the episodes and it's so good. I loved the first season and I must say I think the second season was even better. If any of you guys watched it let me know which season you preferred but I definitely preferred the second season. I binge watched them because I didn't want any spoilers. I'm not going to be giving any spoilers either. No no this is a no spoiler zone. So yeah Jessica Jones was absolutely great. I just love her character and yeah I'm not going to say much more about it because I don't want to spoil it. The second thing I've really been enjoying was a film. Me and Pete decided to buy Paddington 2. We loved the first 
first Paddington and like Pete fell in love with it, especially with Paddington's hard stare. So the second one, we were both really, really looking forward to watching it and we did. And again, I think I preferred Paddington 2 over the first one. He's just so, so lovable. If you liked the first one, you're definitely gonna fall in love with the second. So definitely go check that out. And obviously, you guys have been waiting for me to discuss the Fantastic Beast trailer for Crimes of Grindelwald. That's right, I must have watched the trailer about 10 times already and it's just filling my heart with so much excitement. Uh, I want to pop. I'm not gonna be doing like a reaction video because I've already like seen it a million times and there's plenty enough, there's plenty of those like online already. But yeah, I love the trailer. It's got me really excited. I loved that we got to see Hogwarts and inside Hogwarts, some of the sets that they had throughout the Harry Potter series you've got in Crimes of Grindelwald, which is very exciting. I love seeing the Thestrals. The Deluminator, Young Dumbledore, oh my god, I'm just so excited. And we get to see Newt's brother, the Scamander brothers, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride waiting until November. I'm so stoked, Pete's very excited about it as well, but just the Harry Potter music and the trailers, like, oh god, it did it did things to me. So yeah, that's definitely a favorite. I could just keep re-watching it. I'm probably gonna watch it like every day until November. So yes, we have reached the end of my March favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a list of your favorites and your opinions on things that we've discussed today, including the Fantastic Beast trailer. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.